Hi, Murray Avenue parents and guardians. My name is Evan Weisflat. I'm the director of choral activities and one of the general music teachers at Murray Avenue School. I'm super excited to share with you a few things tonight about your child's chorus or general music class. I promise I had a more entertaining presentation for you tonight, but my fiance and I just got this little fella named Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, he doesn't know his name yet, he's still so little. He's trying to give me kissies. Anyway, as I was saying, I was I planned to uh to give you a more entertaining presentation tonight, but because of this little fellow right here, it's gonna be a little bit more straightforward. But I promise his name's Buddy, by the way, but I promise that uh, I'll keep it straight to the point and as brief as possible. Hi, seventh grade uh, parents and guardians. My name's Evan Weisblatt, as I said earlier, and I will be your host tonight as I introduce you to seventh grade general music. If you hear a little commotion in the background, that would be because of my guy, Buddy. I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's dive in. This is a presentation that I showed your student uh, in the first few days of school, but I shortened it down a little bit so that way we could hit the most important points that you need to know as you think about general music for your student this year with me. This is just a funny photo I showed every every student on the first day, um, just so they could see you know, what Mr. Weisblatt looked like when he was in middle school, because I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, so moving on. Nothing else I can really say about that. Um, so and this is just a collage. Uh, I'm going to keep moving my face out of the way. This is just a collage slide uh, where I tell them a little bit about myself and my interests. I play guitar. I've played guitar for 16 years now. and I also play piano. I majored in voice in college, uh, as well as, uh, of course, music education. And here's some artists that I listen to. Pentatonix, Alan Stone, Chance the Rapper. Of course, I listen to, you know, the Beatles, the Stones. I have a very wide uh, taste in music, of course. This is my nephew, AJ. He is three and a half, and that's him with pasta fingers. This is my uh, nephew, Benji. He is turning one on the 16th, so in just a couple of days, actually. I got engaged last, uh, last fall in October, actually on October 13th. Um, easy day to remember. Of course, as you can see, it went well. Otherwise, I wouldn't be telling you that because that would just, you know, be awkward for me to say, hey, I proposed to my girlfriend and she said no, and here's a picture to prove it. Anyway, <laughs> so our wedding is set for June and cross your fingers for us that we can have large gatherings come June. Uh, here's a couple of my family pets. And I also tell students that I, you know, in the spare time that I rarely have, of course, enjoy a video game here and there and then we can have a nice conversation about you know what teams we like to use and so on uh this is a uh, silly picture of my cat daffy she actually prefers it when her ears are in that position because you know cats are weird the students always get a good laugh out of that your student needs to know how they can be successful personally in music class i call these their personal rules and it's just simply to be on time be nice and to give their best effort and my expectations for being on time really kick in starting in October for um, you know sixth graders and for seventh and eighth graders, they should probably know their way around the building unless they're new to the school. Of course, this year is a special year, a unique year. And so I'm, I'm being more understanding about that, of course. As far as be nice goes, I tell them they don't need to be best friends with the people in the class. They don't even really need to be friends, but they do need to be kind to each other because life is difficult enough, especially right now. And being kind can make it a little bit easier. And then finally, for their best effort, I ask them to think about the student that they strive to be and what that student's best effort would look like, and then to match that, because the only way they can become the person and the student they strive to be is to actually start doing what that student or person would do. But I tell them that, of course, these three things do not have to do with being good at music. They are just simply three personal rules that if they follow them, then they will surely have a successful time in our class. And of course, music isn't about you know, uh, the pressure to get uh, the best grade you can. If students feel like they want to get a really good grade, of course, I love that. But as long as we follow, you know, thinking creatively and um, expressing ourselves and trying new things, that is what music is uh, really about. And then I talk to our students about our class rules, bring it down to three golden rules. Don't interrupt. Of course, uh, if we're in the middle of a song and we're drumming and have a good time and someone says, hey, did you know NASA is going to the Mars, going to Mars in 2024? That's a nice fact, but not in the middle of a song. Um, and then golden rule number two, wait for the count in. So what does that mean? It means this clap, go. 
Okay, and then usually everybody just doesn't know when to clap. It's a mess. But if I go one, two, ready, clap. And then the whole class knows when to clap. And they're like, whoa, that was crazy. And finally, if you play before I say your instrument goes away, obviously I'm not going to be you know, super strict, right? I'm going to give students a couple of chances to get on board with the class. But if there's constant disruptions with the instruments, then I'll have to enforce that rule. And of course, students always understand that. What, do, what does your student need to bring to music every day? Chromebook and earbuds, that's, that's it. But every single day, especially during these times, we're not gonna be able to play as much live instruments um, because of sanitization and things like that. So we'll be uh, leaning to, uh, heavily on uh, music technology software and games and activities and projects like that, which are equally, if not more creative in some ways. Okay, so here's a quick overview of what your student will be learning this year in seventh grade general music. So here are some of the units and topics we will cover. The, the main one this year will be music tech and sound sorcery, which is how I phrase it to the students to make it sound interesting. But essentially, we're working with music recording and production software to offer students a whole world of creative opportunities. And we use a program called Soundtrap. It's similar to that's my puppy in the background playing with his favorite squeaky toy, by the way. Um, so uh, it's very similar to a program called GarageBand, if you're familiar with that. Uh, students always get very excited about those projects because um, it's very easy for students to be successful and create something really interesting and rewarding without having much um, music literacy, even though we do cover music literacy to give a well-rounded music education. We will cover drums this year to do some rhythm education, and students always just love to hit a drum because who doesn't, right? A musical that we cover in seventh grade, so we introduce students to musicals in seventh grade, uh, the Great American Art Form, and Newsies is a very fun musical uh, from Disney, and it's what I call a starter musical because it doesn't require you to be a musical fanatic um, to enjoy it. But uh, people who are new to musicals and people who are well-versed in musicals alike can enjoy Newsies. We also cover the Star Spangled Banner and national anthems around the world. The Star Spangled Banner, of course, to give some students uh, some familiarity with our national anthem as they are in the American education system and national anthems around the world. So that way they can see that, oh, other countries around the world also have their own national anthems. As far as grades go, I don't stress so much to the students about the breakdown of their grades. This is more for you, so you know how I'm grading them. I just simply tell them that if they follow these personal rules that, uh, um, and they turn in their work, of course, then they can usually expect an A, unless there's an extenuating circumstance. Because again, music class, I don't believe is about the pressure to um, be the best. I believe it is about thinking creatively and expressing oneself. When you go to e-school, home access center, that is what you're gonna see. Uh, but again, as long as your student is following those personal rules and doing their actual best effort, um, it's gonna, we're gonna have a great time. So that's a little snapshot of the semester ahead in general music with me. Please be sure to join your student's Google Classroom for music. If for some reason you can't access the Google Classroom, please just send me an email at eweissblatt at lmtsd.org right here. I'll be sure to add you right away so you can stay up to date with what we're doing in class, all the exciting things we're doing to express ourselves musically. And if you just want to say hi or you have a question, you know, any reason you might need to contact me, please feel free to do so. And of course, this is the final slide I show them. My cat Daffy is back and she says, we're gonna have an amazing year together. We're not gonna let anything get us down. I hope you enjoyed this short-ish presentation. I hope you're excited for your students' experience in music with me this year. Take care and stay safe. <laughs>